Hi, good morning. We have Councilwoman Lynch here. We're gonna um, see her thoughts about some things for education, some of her favorite things to do, and just a little bit more information about herself. So the first question, thank you so much for joining us. The first thank question is, um, what restaurant are you gonna visit first when social distancing is over? And is there any particular dish that you want to get? So I'm going to have to go rejoin my Bamboo Cafe family. I am so excited to go see them again. Um, and I've got a special dish there. It's uh, chicken with a butter sauce, mashed potatoes, and greens with a, uh, with a hot roll. And um, Elizabeth, if you're watching this, Keisha, Jeff, all my Bamboo family. I've got a whole bunch more. I miss you. Can't wait to get back to uh, Bamboo Cafe in the 5th District. That sounds really good. I wonder if they, are they doing to-go orders? Because now I want to try that. That's oh, it. yeah. Oh, they're doing, <laughs> they're definitely to please go and do to-go. And all of our beautiful 5th District restaurants, got to give a shout out to them. So gotcha. support our folks there. Can you name a teacher that significantly impacted your life? And what was it about them that was so impactful? Yeah, so I've had so many. Um, I, I mean, I think um, all of my teachers have had um, lent a hand in, uh, in imprinting and impacting um, the person that I am today. Um, my second grade teacher, Miss Pear in Newport News, Rich Neck Elementary School, what? Um, she uh, had a huge impact on my life. Um, she um, not, not necessarily in an academic way, but, um, it was the qualities and the, the characteristics about her, the way that she carried herself and the way that she encouraged all of us and built our self-esteem up first and foremost, um, that, that really had a profound impact on me and all of her students. Um, and Miss Pear would often tell us about her own challenges and her adversities that she overcame. Um, and it, it really, it really helped all of the students who were also experiencing challenges in adversities, even in second grade, um, experiencing trauma and, and different um, challenges to navigate the, um, in, in the home life. And she was a strong, strong woman and um, really taught us to hold our, our head high um, in every situation. So she had a real profound impact. Mm -hmm. Those relationships mean so much. And, um, I'm glad that she was able to help you with that. And it seems as if, as we know, trauma is nothing new under the sun. And your teacher back in the day, she she understood that mm -hmm. and was addressing that, building that relationship. So mm -hmm. shout out. That was before trauma-informed care was a thing, by the way. Now uh, I'm really giving away my age, but. <laughs> <laughs> but shout out was to your science, so she was ahead of the time. <laughs> she was ahead of the curve, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Where at RPS are you seeing impactful work being done? Or more specifically, where are you seeing great work amongst some RPS teachers? So first and foremost, the, the our RPS teachers are incredible. They're innovative, they're creative. Um, they, I, I know folks that are doing um, just anything and everything that they can to get students to think differently um, and to, to achieve these outcomes that you know, either the state or the school district has imposed upon uh, upon these students. So they are thinking outside of the box, and that's what's so cool to see manifest itself um, in different art projects and different, um, you know, different activities around the district. Um, I will say um, we've got a fabulous, we've got some fabulous rock stars. Um, I gotta give a shout out to Vic Carl, and she, um, hey, Miss Carl, um, at, uh, at our fifth district, open high school. Um, she does yoga classes. She's a Spanish teacher, but she works um, with kids in all different um, um, all different programs and classes in, in open and has just done some really amazing things. So um, in, in the form of um, art projects and equity projects and um, trauma-informed yoga. So I mean, I, she's, that's like just one example, but there's mm -hmm. so many other teachers doing such wonderful work like that that um, is so impactful and important to the students. Sounds good. Sounds sounds good. Sounds good. Why? What? Excuse me. What does an education mean to you, and why is it so important to get an education? So, um, to me, I think education is, and I, I may have some. Um, this could lead to an interesting debate. But I think. <laughs> <laughs> I think 
education is truly 20% academic, like true hard academic science, and 80% interpersonal relationships, uh, focusing in on the self and growing as a human being. Um, because, and, and school, the public school system, the school system allows us to do both, allows us to, to focus in on the, the scientific academic um, portion that helps develop our, our, uh, our prefrontal cortex analytics and decision making. But it's our limbic system, it's where our heart is, it's where our emotions are, it's where we learn how to forge and maintain relationships um, that, that I think is the most important aspect of, um, of a public of a public or, or private school system, a school system in general. Um, and so uh, to me, um, being, uh, having grown up in, in schools much like RPS in my life, um, I was colored by the experiences and situations of, 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 uh, of the students that I interacted with, and, um, and I carried those stories, those experiences with me every day. Um, and being a military child, I was moving around very frequently as well. And it was so important for me, um, and I think for every student, um, to be able to adjust and adapt and be resilient no matter what situation that, that you're in. Um, and so uh, makes you a better human. Quite, quite, I, I guess I could have summed it up with just that one sentence, but. <laughs> I like it. it. Sounds good. I agree. Education is more than just academics. That interpersonal side, uh, we label them now as 21st century skills, those social emotional pieces. So, so important. Yeah. So important. So let me ask you this. What's your dream for RPS? Like, what would you like to see for RPS? Um, so pr three things. Um, one, um, more teacher led decision making. Um, would love to, to see teachers really at the forefront of making um, decisions that are informed directly from the classroom and from their experience and their perspective on things like curriculum, IT uh, systems, other vendors that they work with. Um, so really having a teacher-driven decision-making process, which I think we, we have, um, but could, could certainly have more opportunities for. Um, and I think that would improve our, our outcomes um, in the system overall. Um, two, I would love us to, uh, to focus more on the, the, what I call the social determinants of education. So really putting resources into um, organizations like communities and schools, um, getting, uh, getting a trauma-informed care model implemented across all of the schools in our, uh, in, across RPS, um, and when I say that, I mean, um, there's several different components, of course, to trauma-informed care model, but, you know, diversion from discipline and into services, um, engagement in the communities by which our students live, and focusing on those social determinants, the outside factors, the external factors that impact the academic outcomes that our students are trying to achieve. Um, and the third is I had loved to see us get some more money and put up some bonds for the facilities renovation of our schools, particularly George Wythe and Armstrong, y'all. I mean, we, we need to do better for our high schools. And we, we, you know, we've done a good job at uh, making some strides in, in, our elementary, um, uh, in our elementary schools, but we've got to have equity across school zones and grade levels. So we need to support our high schools. Love it, love to hear. Is there a message that you have for the RPS teachers to wrap us up? I love you, RPS teachers. You do the hardest work, um, the most important work, the most valued work in not only uh, RPS in our city, but in our entire, um, in our country. Um, and uh, thank you so much for the work that you do every day. I'm with you, my heart is with you, our heart is with you, um, and, uh, and we look forward to continuing to support you. Thank you so much, Councilwoman Lynch. We are, I appreciate you for um, the second interview. <laughs> And we look forward to working with you more in the future, all right? Thank you, Mr. Bates. Appreciate no it. No problem. Thank you.